just a quick work around or quick addition to my previous video where i have added a uh, navigation to this uh, menu and dashboard uh, video uh, so you can see that we when we click on dashboard we can see dashboard when we click on messages we can see messages but uh, what if when i click on messages and i don't want to see the menu anymore i want to get navigated and see this whole page as my main part so i will have to click this icon right and one user does not want this one of my subscriber has asked me that whenever he clicks on utility bills this should be the output directly means the sidebar should automatically get closed right so uh, it is this also this is also very easy if you have not watched my previous videos then you can go to sidebar menu and dashboard i have created a playlist called sidebar menu and dashboard so that you will file or find all the related videos related to this topic and the latest video this which i am recording will be added to this playlist so that you will uh, you can play it in sequence okay uh, so let me close all the files uh, go to uh, menu.dart it's just two minutes job everywhere uh, so when we are clicking on this what is exactly happening we are adding message click event this event is going to reflect upon here so block builder will get its code run here and dashboard will also reflect upon what is the current that is being clicked current item that is being clicked right so i'm changing this uh, dashboard as per what is what is clicked but i'm not doing anything on the animation part right so what i can do is i can create a method here void on menu item clicked okay so what i want to do i just want to do set state and i want to make controller move in reverse direction when i do this right now it's in forward direction when i click on this it moves into the reverse direction okay so when i click on messages utility bills or dashboard i want to perform this action as well as i want to make my uh, sidebar as not collapsed uh, so it's it's the by it's the opposite of what is the current state of the sidebar so if it is collapsed it will be not collapsed right anyways so this is my main logic that should be invoked whenever i am clicking on messages or utility bills now how to call this method and from where you, you should call so you are in layout you have this method here and click event happens in your gesture detector in your menus so what you will do uh, you will call a method here basically after you have dispatched this event you will call this method but to that for that you will have to pass this method right so you will pass on menu item click like this and this is the method that you will pass okay now of course you will have to add a named parameter and uh, that should not be like this it should be this dot on menu item clicked and it should be it should be final function on menu item click okay so this function will come here somehow and it should be required okay now what you need to do is go to your gesture detector all the gesture detectors and call this method right copy this for dashboard copy this for messages and copy this for utility as well and anything else that you want to add in future okay so now what will happen when you click on any of the menu event will be dispatched and menu item click will be called which is being defined and passed to menu uh, from your layout okay so let's run this application and when i click here i click on messages so i'm seeing the messages page and when i'm clicking on utility bills i'm seeing the utility bills so that's the end of the video and i hope uh, whoever is uh, facing issues with while navigating uh, will definitely understand through these two videos that how you can navigate between multiple screens or uh, using the menu and side uh, menu and dashboard okay so thank you and subscribe to my channel um, hit the bell icon so that you never miss whatever i am posting as well as if you like the video please like it and uh, share it with your friends thank you